team building can be incredibly difficult, which is why today I'm sharing this team. In Regulation E, weather is everywhere. In the sun, fire types like Hearthflame Ogre Pond do more damage, Protosynthesis users receive a boost from it, and water type moves have their damage halved, plus all of the other ability bonuses. There are similar things that happen in the rain, and now even snow is viable. Anyway, this team takes advantage of the weather wars by giving you the extra advantage of another way of dropping the weather. Pokesports Discord members Chawarzard, Evan, and Ghost Virus put together this Victory Bell Sender team. With this team, Ninetales can drop Sun, so your three damage dealers can take advantage of it in their own unique way. With Chlorophyll, Victory Bell can keep up with a lot of physical threats, allowing you to use Strength Sap, Encore, or Sleep Powder before the other side. If the Sun ever ends or is replaced by other weather, you can either swap your Ninetales back in or bring in your Thunderous to manually set it with Sunny Day. This team lends to itself incredibly well, and I want to thank the people who went and supplied it on our Discord. You guys are doing great. Now, let's get onto the dance floor and let's see what we can do. Come on. All right, I've been looking forward to using this team. This is a collaboration team. So let's see here. This is a weather team that we're facing here with the Ninetales. Uh, going to need to remove that weather somehow, either by my Ninetales or by a Thunderous. Uh, Prankster Sunny Day could work quite nicely, but do I want to bring in the uh, regular Ninetales versus the Alolan Ninetales? I kind of like that. I kind of like that. But then there's the Heatran, which kind of makes me want to bring the Landorus to start, just in case. But then there's the Ice, right? Um, hmm. I don't, like, I don't hate bringing in Ninetales here. Then we have this and the other genie, right? That way we can force Sunny Day if they uh, bring in the Ninetales in later. Uh, and also we have our Ninetales just to do some uh, overheat shenanigans, overheat eject packs <laughs> shenanigans. We'll see how that actually works out though. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. What were my other options? I guess bring in Chi Yu or Fluttermane. Probably Chi Yu. Chi Yu could have been the guy. It's okay. Anyway, I've caved. Look at look at this, right? Like I've I finally caved. I said for the longest time, oh, I don't want to go. I don't want I don't want to go to the corner. I don't want to go to this corner, but here I am. It just makes more sense. Uh, if you've been noticing a shift in editing lately, maybe Kevin's already gone and explained this, but uh, yeah, nice. My nine tails goes second. That's good to know. Uh, maybe you've already noticed this, but my um. <clears throat> the editing styles changed because I'm actually uh, editing all of the videos now and we've kind of changed things up so it's a little more quality focused. All right. Um, hmm. I don't hate Stomping Tantrum. I don't hate Stomping Tantrum on Heatran. So I think I might just go for that. Might also want to... I could go Ice here. I could swap this out into Thunderous. I probably don't want to swap it out into, into Victory Ball. That's just going to get Heat Wave to death. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go there. <clears throat> we'll bring Ninetales out. Bring Thunderous in. So they're actually going to bring out their Heatran. And that does concern me a little bit but not too much anymore because we're going for a stomping tantrum on the Iron Hands. It's, it's okay. That's okay. And as long as it misses Landorus, then I'm happy. <laughs> yes, yes, never punished. Never ever punished. We could have, things could have been very bad just then. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and flip this out, I do think though. Just cause I would rather this Ninetales take a blizzard than my then my Lando take a blizzard. And then from here, do I want to terrestrialize? I think I kind of want to terrestrialize. What what could I terrestrialize later? I could terrestrialize the victory bell. I don't think I need to do that. No, I definitely don't want to do that. And then nine tails into water. No, I don't think so. Okay, so one more time. Oh no, I went back. This is going to be Nine Tails, and this is going to be Wild Bolt Storm. I don't know if that's the best move that uh, Thunderous could have gone for. Yeah, I think it is. It is actually. 
Let's see if Wild Bolt does what I need Wild Bolt to do here. Ah, well, you know what? It's pretty good. Pretty good on that. Uh, pretty good on that Iron Bundle. I think I want to get. <laughs> I want to flip Nine Tails back out. This is the Nine Tails game. Whoever Nine Tails is the best wins. But I'm glad that I hit that. Hey, that's great. Okay, at this point, they're probably going to want to bring their own Nine Tails back out. I could try to T Wave. Is a Thunder Wave more beneficial or is a Taunt more beneficial? <coughs> um, oh, I could actually just Sunny Day. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, watch this. Boom. Overheat on this. Sunny day. That's what we have this for, right? <laughs> That's why we have so much sun. We have so much sun. Aurora Veil's not going to work, buddy. There were lots of different, uh, different paths to the peak there, you know? But anyway, now I can eject back my way out of here. Keep my overheat for later, for another day, for another sunny day. Oh, this might be a nice time. This might be a nice time to bring out Victory Bell. I am not going to bother. Uh, I'm not going to bother next turn going for like a Strength Sap or a Sleep Powder. Because I think that Ninetales is probably going to hightail it out of there. Just so we can get the snow up one more time, you know? Now that was a Drain Punch. I like Strength Sap on the... I like Strength Sap on the Iron Hands. I do. If they take that out, it's going to be into a Heatran. They haven't used Terrasilization yet. And that could be Terra Grass on that Iron Hands. It could be Terra Fire too. But I think either way, I'm fine with sludge bombing it. I changed my mind, because what if that switches into Heatran? Right, that wouldn't be great. So we'll go for the Sleep Powder on that. I think I am actually going to go for the T-Wave on the Ninetail slot, just in case they withdraw it. There it goes. Bringing out the Heatran there does mean that that's going to get paralyzed. I love that. That's wonderful. Okay. So Sleep Powder isn't going to go off. That's okay. We, we, it's just not going to happen this turn. But I think we're sitting in a pretty good position here, right? I'm not worried about the Heatran switching into the Iron Hand slot anymore, so I can just Sludge Bomb that. Um, then I could go for the Wild Bolt Storm. There's nothing really that I need to worry about there, except for the, the incoming Heat Wave from the Heatran. But I think I've done kind of all that I can do uh, to, to mitigate that. So from here, let's just try and do some damage, you know? That's a good crit, thank you. Who am I missing? I can barely tell who I missed. <laughs> the only reason I know that I hit the, the Iron Hands is because, <laughs> because the Heatran's HP didn't move. That's hilarious. I, I'm kind of okay with losing Victory Bell here, because as you could see, there was not too much that it could do. I guess I could Strength Sap. Maybe strength sapping would have been the better thing to do uh, on the on the iron hands, but I do think that I'm going to take it out next turn. So I, I think I'm okay with this. I can just oh yeah, I just I I was about to say that I can just earthquake spam, but the fact that I don't have earthquake changes that. Is this the second time that I've intimidated the iron hands or the first? No, it's the first. Okay. Uh, so either I can, yeah, I'm just going to Stomping Tantrum here. Who would I rather Stomping Tantrum, though? 
this one. Yeah, let's go with that. And then Wild Bolt? No reason not to, I guess. Yeah, we'll just Wild Bolt. They're intending to sack the Ninetales instead of that. Okay. Maybe the Heatran's going to go for a Protect here. Oh. Oh, that's an idea. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty solid idea. That's true. This might be a good time to switch Landorus into Ninetales, though. You know, congratulations, you've turned your four times weakness into a resistance, but don't miss the Ninetales, I swear. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, please, come on. See, these are why we do the status moves, because every now and then it irritates your opponent until they just cry and leave and run away. I have a feeling that that's what we're going to see here is, is my opponent crying and leaving and running away. I am going to go ahead and switch over to Ninetales. Does it matter? No, in fact, it, it helps me to keep it as, as snow for now. It, why, why is my Joy-Con not? Not letting me go back. My my Joy-Con. Oh, okay. <laughs> my Joy-Con died, I guess. It was still connected, but it, it wouldn't uh, press any buttons. Well, I guess I'm going to get that sorted out. And while I do, uh, let's get into game number two. <laughs> All right. I don't know what that was. My Joy-Con just like stopped uh letting me press buttons but eventually i connected to i connected it to the switch i took it off i spammed the home button a couple of times and it, it started to work so i'm gonna be cautiously optimistic and just go into game number two here against lachero uh who's gonna be bringing typhlosion and a ooh, and an arcanine which kind of makes me not want to bring what i did last time with victory bell so instead, what I could do is go full sun because I don't see any people who don't really want the sun. And instead, I can bring out Chi Yu, bring out Fluttermane. And then what's my last one going to be? Is it going to be uh, Landorus for, uh, for Arcanine? No, I don't think so. I think actually Thunderous probably will be OK, except for the Gastrodon. The Gastrodon, like it makes me not want to Makes me not want to bring a genie there. You know what? Why not? Why don't we bring the victory bell in the back? I don't hate that. Or maybe just just bring the victory bell in the front. No, I don't want to do that because of the uh, the iron iron treads, right? So instead, we're just gonna bring victory bell in the back. We're gonna try and beat up a gastrodon. We'll beat up a uh, urshifu. Easy peasy. Won't be a problem. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Anyway. I hope you guys have been enjoying, by the way, the past couple of days of of edits. Uh, like, really, we're, we're trying out these new things here because, like, you know, we, we've been doing... When you do a video every single day, it, it like, in a very short amount of time, things can feel stale. So, like, when we, when we get there, we're like, okay, no, we just gotta... We gotta change it up a little bit, you know? So this is us trying to change it up. I can go and overheat the Grim Snarl. Just get out of here, right? Yeah, there's no impending trick room, so there's no need to roar. I can just go for overheat on the Grim Snarl. I can go for uh, Snarl, uh, Dark Pulse. Yeah, Dark Pulse on the Flosion. I think will be fine. Although I'm not sure what overheat uh, does more than more than Dark Pulse here. I'm sure there's math involved with the sun. It's probably pretty close, and Dark Pulse is honestly probably not the better one to use here. But I'm gonna do it, because maybe. Oh! Oh! We're terrestrializing. Okay, we're just doing more fire. E eruption? 
Good, avoid. Yeah, it's Eruption. It's in the sun, it is Typhlosion, but... Yeah. There was a lot. <laughs> there was a lot going in on that Typhlosion there. Uh, it was Terrifier, it was in the sun, Chi Yu is on the field. This is like the most amount of damage that it could possibly do, but we just made them lose their Terra, so... Uh, feels good. Feels pretty good. I cannot believe that Chi Yu actually survived that. That's wild. <laughs> I can bring in Victory Bell here, though. Actually, I like that quite a bit, because now we have, ooh, and it's just Gastrodon. I'm not worried about that. Uh, yeah, I could just Sludge Bomb that guy. What did Grimmsnarl do last turn? Oh, went for Thunder Wave, right? Uh, does that matter? No, it doesn't matter. We'll just go for the Grimmsnarl here. We'll go for, uh, Okay, wait. Oh, well, I'm choice specs anyway, right? No, I didn't mean to hit that. Okay, so we'll attack the Gastro. Fine. Is this setting up a light screen? No, they're just gonna set up a Thunder Wave. They wanna try and make my Victory Bell not attack, but I'm pretty sure I'm still faster than the Gastro, especially in the sun. So Dark Pulse isn't going to hit, and that's okay. How much? Uh, quite a bit. That's quite a bit, especially with that uh, big old dang old poison. I feel confident enough to go for... I have sleep powder, I guess. Yeah, let's put this thing to sleep. Put that thing to sleep, we'll Dark Pulse the Grim Snarl, yeah? Yeah. It's nice to switch things up because sometimes they'll go and make a switch themselves because they see what you're probably going to go for. So if we go for something else, we can now put this Urshifu to sleep. It's great. It's wonderful. It's amazing. All right, watch this. Bye, Grim Snarl. I guess I could still could have attacked the uh, Gastrodon slot because the, you know, uh, the uh, Grimstar was going to go down to poison anyway, but it's fine. Now we put a Nurshifu to sleep, and that feels good. It's a good thing. Uh, now do I want to do something about this? No, I think I just want to get rid of the Urshifu. Because what do I have in the back? I have Fluttermane. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think I just want to sludge bomb this guy. I just want to dark pulse this guy. Uh, uh, uh. Keep you alive now. Nah, just go for dark pulse. Do on the thing that, that takes more damage. It's OK. So here he goes dark pulse on that. Yeah, that's that's half damage. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, I am paralyzed. Doesn't feel great. Now at least my Chi Yu can go down and I can bring in uh, Fluttermane for the Dazzling Gleam. The only way that I think they pull this out is by the Urshifu waking up and KOing my Fluttermane with a Sucker Punch. I guess. Terra water isn't really going to help me. But I guess it helps a little bit because of the Gastrodon, right? Encore, Strength Sap. None of those really help. I guess Strength Sap helps the uh, Urshifu. That's fine. We'll just go for a Dazzling Gleam. Strength Sap helps against the Urshifu, but... I think I'm okay. We just double into this guy, hopefully take it out. Like this is four times weak, so unless there's a focus sash, we're okay. There is no focus sash, turns out. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, and now I can just, you know, lie down in my hammock, put my feet up, relax till the end of the game. Our sunlight fades. Oh no, my protosynthesis. Oh no, my chlorophyll. 
okay. It's a Gastrodon. Oh, but there's my booster energy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to try and put that thing to sleep. I mean, I would really hope that they're just going to try and uh, get out at this point, but this is the better move to go for. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Wow, that game felt great. That game felt fantastic. Cool. Well, uh, let's go into game three. Let's try and make it <laughs> make it happen again. GG. Let's go. All right, going up against Loaf. That's a that's a neato team. I like that team a lot. What? There's a Scizor. There's a Cornerstone Mask. Uh, Ogre Pond. There's a Monkey Dory. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm thinking here. Let's go with the Sun. The same thing that I said for every other team so far. Uh, I think I like the Landorus and the Thunderous in this one. Landorus at least. Yeah. Definitely want to bring in the Nine Tails first. Get the Sunset. Um, I don't know about leading with the Victory Bell, although I like it against this this Fluttermane here. Kind of makes me want to like just slam that down. But you know what? Oh, I think we're gonna start with the Landers because there are a couple offensive threats here that I would want to intimidate. And then I just you turn out. I can bring in the Victory Bell to be, vic to be Victory Bell. And unless there's the... Ah, uh, there are two threats, though. Three threats. I think it's going to be Chiyu Fluttermain. Yeah, I think this is one of those situations where I do not want to bring the Victory Bell in. Right? Because there was the Monkey Dory. There was the Chien Pao. There was... Who else? The, the Scizor, not so much. I wasn't worried about the Scizor. I wasn't worried about the Fluttermane. I wasn't really worried about the Urshifu either. But it was that last one. Ah, oh, Ogre Pond. Not really. Not really. Still, it's fine. We chose not to go with it. We didn't need to go with it. We're good. Okay. This could be a nice time to Will-O-Wisp the Ogre Pond. This might be a nice time to U-turn the Monkey Door. Oh, I guess the Ogre Pond. Well, I didn't, didn't realize that was super effective, wasn't it? Strange. They can't terastalize here. No shot they terastalize. Yeah, I just go for it. It's fair. Fair, fair. <laughs> wow. Still, I am... Oh, wow, it goes first, too? I really need to learn my speeds. At least I burned it. At least I burned it. I'm going to go ahead and try to ignore this Ogre Pond, then. Now that I've burned it, I think uh, what would be nice is to hit the Monkey Dory with a... with a ground-type move here. Like with a Stomping Tantrum, you know? Might even want a Helping Hand that. Nah. My problem is that, like, what happens if the Monkey Dory protects, you know? I don't want to switch into Chiyu or Fluttermane here, even though it's burned. I don't have Protect on either of these. Either of these. I could attack the Ogre Pond. I won't bother attacking the Ogre Pond. I think this is kind of the only only solid move I can go for. I do want to keep in the Landorus. Monkey Dory. Flying Monkey Dory? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's fair. I don't like it, but that's fair. It's not my favorite thing that I've seen today. Oh, that's not very effective, but that hurts. 
still. I mean, you know what I'm going to do, though, right? I am going to attack the Ogre Pond slot. Do they have anything that can that can fly? No, they don't. So this Ogre Pond is going down at least, right? Yeah, we do it like this. We'll attack the we'll attack the Monkey Dory. I'll stomping tantrum the Ogre Pond. Hopefully, I'll take that out so that it can't go for a Ivy Cudgel on my Nine Tails because that would take it out. I just want that Nine Tails to attack. That's fine if you're switching out. Nothing wants to take a stun with Tantrum. Definitely not Urshifu. It's not going to be super great for Urshifu to take the Stomping Tantrum. That's yeah, pretty painful. But that Monkey Dory's Psychic is going to take out my Ninetales, though. Not wonderful. Landorus is going to take some damage, but it is going to go down to an Aqua Jet, so I'm going to have to try and find something that can... That can do better here. Um, or I just let it go down, right? I'm not going to let it go down, but what I am going to do is take out both of their Pokemon. Okay, so I'm going to Protosynthesis into Speed. It's great. Fine. Cool. I could Icy Wind here. Icy Wind might be exactly what I need, actually. I am going to go for an Icy Wind. I'm also going to switch the Landorus into Chiyu. Because what that'll mean is I'll do more damage on my Icy Wind. I'll hopefully take out the Urshifu here, even though that's not very effective. I'm really putting a lot of Credence into, into the Fluttermane here. I think it can do it. Um, <clears throat> and then that also slows down the Monkey Dory, so that next turn I can use Chiyu and, and Heat Wave. I'm also, by the way, terrestrializing the Fluttermane. <clears throat> so if the Urshifu decides to instead go for an attack on Fluttermane, it won't take it out because it's not very effective. Hmm. I mean, that's, that's fine and good. They were kind of seeing what, what I would do this turn, and that's okay. I've slowed down the Monkey Dory. So next turn, I feel pretty confident in, I hate Toxic Chain so much. I feel pretty confident in going for Dazzling Gleam. I've slowed down the, the monkey and I'm faster than the Shifu. Who do they have in the back? Ogre Pond and something else. Neither of those, none of those guys actually want to switch into a Heat Wave. So I'm just going to go for Heat Wave. If they switch into Scizor, that thing's like more than gone. If they switch into uh, Champau, that thing's more than gone. If they switch into Ogre Pond, that thing's way gone too. They're just kind of sacking off uh, somebody. Oh, Champau. Yeah, I don't see the Urshifu taking out the Chiyu here. Yeah, Chiyu's just too great. It's in the sun too, so it's it's awesome. This will probably bring Chen Pao down to Sash, and then Heat Wave will take care of the rest, as long as it hits. I didn't cough, you cough. Nice, Heat Wave. My Protosynthesis wears off, but then my Protosynthesis, wow. Thanks. Uh, I do lose Chiyu here, though. Hmm. Uh, not the worst thing, because I do have... I have Landorus, still. Uh, Ogre Pond might have Grassy Glide, and I guess that might be terrible, but... <clears throat> oh, yeah, that... No, 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 because there's no Grassy Terrain down. So we're, we're fine. Um, Monkey Dory goes for a fake out on somebody. I 
do like getting the Intimidate down on the Ogre Pond, especially when it's burned. Uh, I, there's no point in protecting right now. It's a really bad idea to protect. I think I want to Shadow Ball the Ogre Pond. Yeah, I think I want to Shadow Ball the Ogre Pond, try and take that out. Like, someone's getting fake out, and, and whoever it is... I could go for U-Turn, I could go for Rock Slide. I don't hate Rock Slide. Let's go for Rock Slide, let's see if we can get a flinch. Yeah, fake out on the Flutter Main is... that makes sense. Toxic Chain, fine, I hate you, but fine. Slide hits. Doesn't take out the Monkey Dory. We love that. Monkey Dory has its Yum Yum Berry. Hornleech isn't going to KO from here. No, we're good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I think I can... Uh, I think I can Dazzling Gleam for the win here. Mm, that only did 10. So even if they protect and spiky shield, I think I'll still be fine. So we Dazzling Gleam, we Rock Slide. <clears throat> yeah. I would assume that they're going to hope that uh, they can just, you know, wait for Toxic to kill off the Landorus. But hopefully what they don't know, because they're not looking at the numbers, is that it didn't do enough damage the last time uh, for it to KO this time. So Ogre Pond protects. Oh, never mind. They're just going to let that go down. Feeling good. So Monkey's gone. Like, Toxic Chain is nasty. I, I really hate Toxic Chain, but I get it. I get it. It's a win condition, you know? Ogre Pond gets hurt a little bit. It's Shadow Ball. Does the same, but has the chance to lower the special, special uh, defense. We're just going to double into Ogre Pond. I, I think their win condition is just to try and Spiky Shield again and hit. I would take that. I would do that this this turn. That's what I would do. But in, what they could also do is attack into... Oh boy. Attack into my Flutter Main. Hope that I uh, Avi Kudjo gets a crit because it has a high chance to. Uh, that would have taken out my Flutter Main. And then Toxic would have taken out my Landorus. Either way. Boom. We did it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. That was a stressful battle. That was really stressful against Loaf. Loaf had a good team, but you know what? This team was really, really rocking. I love this team. Chawarzard and who else? Who else? Who else? Evan and Ghost Virus. Thank you for collaborating and making this team. It rocks. I love the, the multiple ways to go and set the sun. I love how uh, Thunderous can paralyze. It's got the status. It's got the... It's got the status, it's got the, the weather, it's got the sleep powder and encore, it's got the utility and strength sap. You know, you have Pokemon that can protect in this, in that just it's it's Fluttermane. Fluttermane's the only thing with protect. That's okay. You don't really need to. Just hyper offensive, really, really offensive, because you got the Chi Yu to uh, make Victory Bell do, you know, even more damage. Nine Tails does even more damage. Thunderous does even more damage. Fluttermane, of course, is, is a no-brainer. And then Landorus to drop people's attacks. Like, it, this team is great. Uh, I highly, 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 highly recommend going and using this team. Uh, thank you again so much for sharing it. I hope you had fun watching this. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks a lot. I've been Mike about two Pokemon on the field. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.